Hey everyone, it's Don with Don's Field of Dreams Cards. Feels like forever since I've made a video, and uh, I definitely know I haven't made one yet this year. I think my last one was maybe on uh, the Christmas gifts I received from people, but uh, both my daughters were in town, and uh, one had COVID for a week, so she was in the basement here where my little makeshift studio is, so I couldn't couldn't come down here and make videos, and then just having them home, I just was spending a lot of time and enjoying time with them and just uh, hadn't been in the mood to make videos, but had been watching a lot of uh, a lot of your content out there and was going or still am going to make a recap video. Um, and that was going to be my first one for this year, but just felt like making a video. And this is this is nothing fancy, basically just going to show some cars that I picked up last year that I don't think I've shown, maybe I have shown a few, but just to spare the moment, hey, let's get back on YouTube and, and show some cards. So I uh, hope everyone's doing well. I've talked to many of you via text, but haven't been very involved in, uh, in the YouTube community. So hopping back in. So let's start with my 1967 Ernie Banks. Really nice centering on this. Just, just like that he looks really happy uh, on this photo too. So very cool. I think I picked this up for less than thirty dollars. I don't remember the exact price, but a really nice nineteen fifty nine PSA five Brooks Robinson. And so these are all additions to my Hall of Fame collection. I believe I picked this one up off of Facebook. Really cool Reggie Jackson with Yankee Stadium in the background. This was another, actually the next couple are going to be off of Facebook. Added the uh, the 62 Clemente and a 5. And as I've said in many videos, uh, you know, these are not high grade, but the cards look really nice. Uh, you know, backs are clean. There's no, no creases. Corners are pretty nice. Centering's pretty good. So that is good with me. As you'll see here in this next, another five, Hank Aaron. I really like the 62 set. It was one of those sets that years ago I was not fond of, but it's grown on me. Uh, 72 is another set that has grown on me. The 71 Hank Aaron. And a seven. I believe I picked this one up from the same seller. Uh, rookie card is Steve Garvey. Looks really good for a 71, a um, bit off center, but as everyone knows, with the black border, it can be tough. I might have shown this card before, but I don't remember. Uh, my first Chris Speaker, and it's the Polo Grounds Game card, which you look on the back. You can see the, uh, the Polo Grounds. And I became aware of this set, or at least this game, from uh, Rick Oddball Cards. You know. For a 1914 card, this card is very reasonable, you know, compared to uh, his other cards. So just really like this card and uh, glad to add it. And, and thanks, Rick, for making me aware of it. I never had an Ichiro rookie, so I picked this one up. Sometimes you have good luck and bad luck. It was an auction. I was looking at two, and I won this one. And then the next one went off in like 10 minutes for $17 less than this. Same grade. Hey, that's how it rolls sometime. sometimes. Sorry, guys. But uh, just glad to add this to the collection. Would like to add the poo holes to this. Uh, even though I'm mainly a vintage guy, I, I do like to get some of the rookie cards of the, uh, the more modern type guys. But, you know, he's obviously one of the greats of the game. So... Uh, hopefully, guys, I can get my, my recap video up. I think maybe it's a little nicer to get it a little later so everyone's not burnt out on everyone's recap videos. Uh, something different. So hopefully I can get that up soon. But as always, guys, appreciate you watching my videos, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.